What's happening guys? Jordan for Flyers here and this is going to be a much different video than you're used to from me if you've ever paid attention to any of my videos. So, um, yeah, there's a couple things that are going to make this very different. First of all, I'm not actually going to be playing. Instead, we're going to have Meningitis the Kirby. We're going to have Nose the Yoshi. Daft Punk the Samus. Whoops. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, God damn it. Uh, no. Get out of here. Excuse me. There we go. Uh, <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, we also have Icy Kong the Diddy Kong. Aqua Kong the Donkey Kong. We will have Ouija the Luigi. Stealth Ox the Fox. And Dark Link. The link. So yeah, we're gonna have an all amiibo match here with um, eight players. I'm gonna put Monkey on freaking Luigi. Sure, why not? Also stock. So yeah, that's a that's one thing that's gonna make this video very different. Oh, actually, I think I still have it set to just smash things. Um, the other thing that's gonna make this very different is. This is going to be more of a discussion video than anything. Um, and it's fitting that I'm using Amiibos in this video. Let's go to... Um, let's go to Garplane. So yeah, it's fitting that I'm using Amiibos in this video because that's actually kind of what I want to talk about. Specifically, um, Amiibos that are being sold through scalpers online. Now, I've known a lot of different kinds of people in my lifetime. Happy people, not so happy people, and um, unfortunately a lot of people who feel it's their job to make life miserable for everyone around them, aka basically bullies. This segues very nicely into the discussion in this video. Now, when the developers of Super Smash Bros. first introduced Amiibos to the world, I don't think anyone expected the kind of success that followed. Nintendo is of course famous for bringing up all kinds of new ideas just to see what fans of their games enjoy, so they had no idea the kind of support that they would receive with the creation of Amiibos. However, as I suppose a lot of people expected from a company who loves their top selling characters, there was a huge surplus of signature Amiibos such as Mario, Link, and many other leading names of Nintendo. And there was unfortunately a rather large shortage of the lesser known characters such as Marth or the Wii Fit Trainer. From what I've read on different sites, I've heard that um, Japan doesn't have this problem and there doesn't seem to be much of a shortage of any amiibos there due to that being, you know, the birthplace of everything Nintendo. So I'm mostly talking about the United States and Canada. I haven't read too far into what the exact numbers are, but all I know for sure is that the signature characters aren't about to sell out anytime soon, while those that are considered rare are hugely talked about in the Smash Bros. community and therefore fly off the shelves of both online and retail stores very quickly. Those amiibos are exactly the kind of opportunity that scalpers look for. Now, I know scalping has been a long-running tradition between greedy people and people who are very passionate about different things. Nevertheless, that does not make it okay. With scalpers interfering and snagging all of the rare amiibos before the people who actually want the amiibos get there, it completely defeats the purpose of why amiibos were created in the first place. Not just to use within Super Smash Bros. like this, but also for people who love collecting and completing their collections. If you go online or to a retail store and you're able to find and purchase one of these rare amiibos, which we don't know for sure whether or not Nintendo plans on re-releasing them, you're either thinking one of two things. Number one, you're thinking, wow, I mean, I know amiibos are really cool and all and I'd love to either start or continue a collection of them, but this thing is really rare. I can't believe I got this lucky. And now, not only do I have the privilege of using this amiibo in the game, 
but I get to be one of the lucky people who can say they own this and I get to cherish it within my collection. That's number one. And Nick has actually had this experience because he was lucky enough to stumble upon the Wii Fit Trainer Amiibo as it was just getting shipped into EB Games. So, he's kind of a lucky bastard. <laughs> but, the other thought that unfortunately runs through the minds of a lot of people is, Wow, this thing is really freaking rare. And I got to it before all of those people who actually might want it. Well, too late now, suckers, because it's all mine. But, you know what? I don't actually want it. So instead, I'm going to keep it in the exact condition it's in, calling it Mint in Box. I'm going to mark up the price by about 250%. And I'm going to sell it online to all of those losers who have so little of a life that they'd spend that much on a stupid figurine just to complete some stupid collection. Perhaps that's not exactly what they think, but in essence, that's not only the way they act, but that's the way those quote-unquote losers perceive them. And believe it or not, but those losers actually make up the lion's share of the population. There are still those lucky people who find and buy those rare amiibos because they love collecting them, and there's a greater number of people who would buy them just for the sake of scalping and making people miserable. But there's a greater number of people still who are on the receiving sides of those offers like buy these two really rare amiibos in mint condition for only $100 while the regular store price would be about 30 That majority of people have become miserable because something that, become, that, that they've become so excited about has been infected by these assholes who only care about sucking more and more money out of people for something rare. Anytime I hear any sort of story about scalpers, I'm always reminded of all of those bullies from school doing whatever they can just to make your life a living hell, like beat you up or steal your lunch money or whatever. Honestly, in my opinion, scalpers are worse than bullies. They are trying to steal lots of money from those people who genuinely, they really would like those amiibos. And not only that, but they're holding it right in their faces saying, Ha! That's right, I have this and you don't, but you know you want it. Better pay up, sucker. And this doesn't apply to just amiibos either. This is a huge global problem with things like tickets to sporting events or concerts, or even just some random game that the, owner, the, the, that the owner knows lots of people want. In any case like these, they jack up the price and say to people, you really want this? Well, you better prove how much you want it by paying three times as much as the normal person would. Again, this completely defeats the purpose of these things being created. They, they're not made so people can compete to see who gets it first, so they can just up the price and resell it. Although, that's who the company, the, the, who's the company to argue if they're still making some kind of profit on it. But these things are made so people can have fun with it and not have to worry about these scalpers, which I've taken to calling cyberbullies because that's precisely what they are. I mean, remember all those talks in school about bullies and how they're, like, destroying the souls of all of those kids in that generation? That's exactly what scalpers are like. You know that one rule? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you? That came to be known as the golden rule. And it might sound incredibly corny to a lot of people, but when you really think about it, those people who don't follow that rule are those people who really don't care about making people around them, like, happy. Scalpers are a part of those people. So, I mean, I guess my final word in this video is, if you're a scalper, or if you've ever done any kind of scalping before, just think of it this way. What if you were the person who saw that inhumane offer that the scalper was making and you really wanted whatever it was that scalper is just taunting you to take it because they know that you want it whether or not you give in to paying that much is beside the point what matters is that either way how do you feel about this incredibly stupid sales offer that you either did or didn't partake in no matter what you're left shaking your head and feeling stupid while the 
the person selling the thing doesn't even care in the slightest. Me, personally, I think that there should be a global law created where a person cannot, under any circumstance, resell something above what the market value of it is. In other words, the price that you'd pay for it in stores, don't go above that! Uh, <laughs> I apologize. This is quite a bit out of character for me. But this is something that I needed to get out to the public because this is really something that has genuinely pissed me off. And all of those not-so-happy people that I mentioned, some of those might have been my least favorite people, but after looking into this issue, I think scalpers have taken that honor as being my personal least favorite people. If you're a scalper of any kind and you're really offended by this video, honestly, that's telling me that you do care about how people feel, and you really should reconsider what you're doing. <sighs> so, I mean, honestly, it's just, it's a bad thing, guys. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't enjoy talking about it even. It's, it's become such an important issue to me lately. So, as we're watching the rest of this battle here, Luigi's still in, I could still be right, seems like Kirby's gonna win, though. Yeah, I mean, this here, this that you see in the gameplay, this was the purpose of Amiibos. It wasn't so that we could see these online wars on eBay between people selling these for like 50 bucks a piece. It's just, it's for people to have a collection of these things and to have, like, to have fun with them. And scalpers have absolutely destroyed that purpose, in my opinion. So, <laughs> uh, I apologize, guys. This is way out of character for me. Um, yeah, let's just, let's take a moment to get away from the anger part of this video and just watch the rest of this battle here. Luigi's still in this. He can still win this. Maybe. If Kirby would, you know, lose a life. Fox, what the hell are you doing down there? Um, Fox? Oh, nope, Luigi's done. Okay. I think Fox is about to be done right away here, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fox, Fox, you're kind of a little bit screwed here. Just saying. So, yeah, thanks for listening to this video, guys. Um, <laughs> maybe this isn't exactly what you want to listen to today, but, I mean... Again, this is something that I had to get out to the public. There you go. Kirby is the winner. Pardon me. Uh, meningitis is the winner. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching, listening to my little rant there. And um, see you guys at some point in the future. Bye, guys.